In the Galloway and southern Ayrshire biosphere, the Stinshire Valley and the rounded hills that surround the area are the result of glaciation over the last 1.6 million years, where ice has reshaped the landscape and created the one we recognise today. Ice sheets, hundreds of metres deep, fed glaciers that flowed under their own enormous weight. The whole valley was affected as ice gouged out the existing valley bottoms and scoured off layers of softer rock to reveal many apparently unrelated rock types. This strange collection of rocks, known as the Ballantrae Complex, have often puzzled geologists who seek to explain how they were formed. Some of the oldest rocks are evidence of a time 500 million years ago when an ancient ocean was disappearing as two continents collided. While most of the sea floor was forced under the northern continent in the Stinshire Valley, a fragment of the sea floor was pushed up to the surface. In the process, material from deep below the ocean floor were mixed with lavas and now appear on the surface to give us a rare glimpse of the rocks that was once part of an ocean crust. The material from the mantle deep below the ocean floor are composed almost completely of green olivine, but were altered by superheated seawater into green serpentinite, a pretty soft rock with a soapy feel. Often referred to as serpentine, it has a mottled appearance and the name is derived from the similarity to the texture and look of snake skin. Most of the serpentinite has been worn down and buried beneath a covering of soil, but pebbles can be found on the shingle beach at Ballantrae. On the rugged coast here north of Ballantrae, serpentinite is exposed in the cliffs, along with pillow lavas and also sedimentary layers for geologists to study. Each rock type has different resistance to erosion, with more resistant rock remaining as high hills. The Stinshire is forced to bend round the hill of Nocturlian, standing out in the middle of the valley. It has been moulded by ice into a streamlined lozenge shape known as a crag and tail. Made of volcanic breccia, the angular stones are lava that is cooled quickly and then broken by explosive eruptions on a volcanic island. Dwarfed by Nocturlian, the hill fort of Dunawick is made of a rock type which is hard enough to resist erosion. It formed below the ocean crust and cooled at a rate which was slow enough to allow larger crystals to um, grow, which create the appearance of a rock more akin to a gabbro. The hill fort in Bargain Hill is made of hard black basalt, like many of the higher hills on the north side of the valley. Like Dunwick, it is made from magma from beneath the ocean's crust, but here it cooled quickly, in the ocean or on the surface, so that crystallisation did not have time to occur. A very different type of rock is found near Dinvan Mott, a well-preserved earthwork which would have surrounded a medieval castle. When seas inundated the area, additional sediments were laid down in shallow waters and new rocks were added to those from deep below the ocean floor and the volcanic lavas. Here there are outcrops of sedimentary rocks such as conglomerate, a rock made up of water-worn pebbles from an ancient seashore that have been cemented together by finer material. Limestones were laid down in these shallow seas and outcrops of these can be found along the sides of the Central Valley here. Small fossils called trilobites, about 450 million years in age, occur within these limestones that can be found. The farmers have quarried the limestone and burnt it in lime kilns which you see behind us here and the product that comes out is used to improve soil fertility all down the valley. On the other side of the valley is the ancient standing stone known as the Glake Stone. These hills are made up of sediments deposited in a large ocean that was reducing in size as the continents gradually moved closer. Different sized particles settled on the ocean bed and eventually became rocks of different textures and thicknesses. 
When the sea floor was forced under the northern continent, some of it was scraped off and pushed up to create mountains. The rocks were often folded and stacked vertically and have been eroded over millions of years to become the rounded hills of the southern uplands where the River Stinger begins its journey.